Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning. I wanted to talk today about how we can have an opinion of ourselves, especially even each other. Um, under the guise of encouragement, we can tell each other, you know, you're good, um, grand servant in the body of Christ, and um, you're very needed, you're very important, blah, 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 blah. We tell each other and we tell ourselves that as well sometimes, you know, especially when you've been walking with the Lord for quite a long time. But actually my message today is kind of maybe anti-cultural, but it's definitely biblical. And um, that message is the Lord doesn't need us. Literally doesn't need us for anything. Unless we do it his way, we don't actually have any um, claim to be anyone of substance or importance we're like everybody else the only difference is is we know the truth right and um how ironic that when we're doing it his way we actually become less uh, important in the eyes of the world and even in the eyes of the church like a lot of churchgoers depending on their level of maturity would not see um someone as important when they really are doing it um, you know, on the level of the Lord uh, and his requirements of his people. And so I guess my message comes from that, that part of um, the Bible where Jesus is talking about how we need to eat his flesh and drink his blood if we want to have a part with him. This was a hard saying for the disciples at that time. Um, there were many more there than just the twelve. Um, and they were all looking at each other going, well, that's a hard saying. I don't know if I can, I mean, you know, eat his flesh and drink his blood to have a part of him. What, was he a vampire or something? You know, and actually I've been accused of that as a Christian, being a vampire, because that's exactly what the Lord requires of us if we want to have a part with him. And so, uh, when everybody kind of, backed off and was like hmm, I, I'm, I'm out of here Jesus wasn't like oh no 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 I didn't mean that um sorry yeah I need you to follow me I need you to um you know just stay here let me explain he was like no go ahead I don't need you basically that that was his aura if you like and then he turned to the other 12 and he was like you going as well you know I don't need you people basically that's how the the Lord uh, omitted his authority and also his lack of care, really, for people who couldn't stomach what Peter, in the same passage, called the words of eternal life. Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Where, are we, where else are we going to go? Who else is going to give this to us? You know, we're forced to admit that, you know, your way is the best way and we have to follow you and do as you say in order to have a part with you. And those people who can... I guess have the humility to admit that they might not understand everything but just to do as the Lord says regardless of how crazy it can sound right sometimes I mean when you actually think about it eating the Lord's flesh and drinking his blood sounds like madness to you know people like this who are doing you know worshipping the sun and doing crazy rituals and stuff that singing you know chanting to some hindu god or whatever they're doing i don't actually know it looks like yoga right to people like that what i'm saying is madness it's foolishness it's crazy you know but actually if you want to live eternally you just got to do what he says and if you don't want to do what he says he doesn't care even if you do what he says, he doesn't really care in the sense that he doesn't need us to do anything. <laughs> the, the prerogative is ours, the honor is ours. We are graced with the fact that we can find truth and life in him. And really, it's our faith in him not even, you know, faith in the faith. It's faith in him to actually bring us through this valley of the shadow of darkness, you know. 
the shadow of evil, all of this has the illusion of, you know, perfection and goodness. That's why they're worshipping. They're worshipping the, whatever they're worshipping, the sun, the moon, the stars, the, the creation, basically. Ah, well, if you want to worship anyone, worship the one who created those things and us, right? But also, worship means doing it his way. And instinctively, I would say, because Satan has uh, real estate in all of us, that's a repellent thing for human beings generally. No, I don't want to do it his way. I want to do it my way. But of all this, I did it my way. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, we all have a personality. We all have a character. We do it our way in that way. But we've got to, we've got to do it his way in our way. <laughs> if you know what I mean? And um, how you respond to that. We all have different gifts, of course. Some are prophets. Some are pastors. Some are evangelists. Some are hospitable, some are encouragers. Everybody has spiritual gifts, you know? Some people love to pray. Um, and that's a very valid um, enterprise in the kingdom because power is in prayer, hugely. Whether it's deliverance or healing or asking for a change in a situation um, that only the Lord can do something about. We are very weak, um, especially as individuals. You know, there's some power in a, a, a cooperation between us all, which is why when we are one, unified in Christ, you know, there he is in the midst when there's two or more gathered in his name, right? But still, you know, he doesn't need us to do anything. He can just do anything whenever he wants. And that's really the message today. <laughs> You know, I mean, I somewhat respect these old ladies for doing what they believe in. Misguided, of course. I'm sure it's healthy, not just for um, the soul to kind of get out in the morning and enjoy the sunshine and feel the wind in your face, but. Um, you know, they're gathered two or more, aren't they? I just don't respect the God they're worshipping, whatever that might be. Because it's probably not the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And if it is, I apologise. Well, I don't think so. It looks Hindu to me. But yeah, he doesn't need us. Never will. Doesn't need anything. As if he needs us. We have the honour as his creations, fallen creations that he's redeemed, by the way, to join in what he's doing, to try and help, uh, I guess, our fellow man to see that there is a way out of this. This is all corrupt. Everything you look at can be very beautiful, but it's corrupted and tainted, and we need him. It's the other way around. He does not need us. Are you going to go as well? I'm going to stick around because he's got the words of eternal life. God bless you.